Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different on my channel. I'm nervous about it, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous about this, but so here's the issue. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what, what I'm doing first off is swapping out my office, which I'm standing in right now, and my dining room, which is over here. So the reason being, which you will see in a minute, is I need storage space. I work in my office, I work from home, doing YouTube is my job, so my office has a lot of stuff in it. I have camera stuff and products that are sent to me and just, you'll see in a second. So, <laughs> I ran out of storage space in here, so what I ended up doing was ordering a bookshelf that matches my office furniture, and the problem is, the way that my office is laid out, I don't have room for it. But if I were to switch and put the dining room here, which this is technically the dining room, um, then it would work. So I'm gonna flip you around and then I'll explain a little bit more. So this is our dining room currently, and I absolutely love it. I feel like it flows so beautifully, and I just, I, that's why I'm nervous about changing it, to be honest, because I love this so much. Like, I'm not disappointed in it or anything. I don't wanna change it. And then if you turn, Here's my office, and I love my office. I love everything about it. But, as you can see, I have this little corner here with just stuff. Like, obviously these balloons can go. These are from my 100K picture. But I have my Cricut here and all of my like crafting supplies, and then I've got like camera lenses and camera equipment. And then my printer is buried under stuff here. I have nowhere to put all of this stuff. So I have just my paper shredder sitting here. And yeah. So the problem is the way that it's laid out now, I could put the bookshelf on this wall, but then I have nowhere to put the filing cabinet. And I do use that filing cabinet. So technically, when you walk into my house, because here's the door, Technically, when you walk in, this is the dining room. So it would be cool to have this set up as a dining room because I would be able to do a chandelier and it would be directly over the table. Whereas in here, I cannot do a chandelier because the light is not directly over the table. It's in the center of the room, which makes sense. And you know what? I honestly don't know what this room's purpose was when they built this house. I could not tell you, maybe a formal dining room, or not a formal dining room, maybe like a formal living room, but that really doesn't make sense because the living room is right there. So I really don't know, and I know that the people before us had the dining room where my office is and they had their office here. So what I plan to do is put my desk here, my filing cabinet here, my bookshelf here, and then my chair will probably go right here. So that's the plan. We're gonna see how it works out. Hi, Tucker. I already told my husband that I might wanna switch it back, but I'm just the type of person who has to see it before I can decide. So we're gonna put that bookshelf together and swap everything over. I'm gonna let it sit for a couple days to make sure like, do I love this or do I hate it? And see, I know that it will function so much better swapped the reason that I'm nervous though is just because I really love them the way they are, but they're not functioning for me the way that I need them to. So that's what today's video is. If you wanna see how it turns out, stay tuned. Okay, so I did get my husband to help me move everything, which was great because it is really heavy and I really didn't need to be lifting all of it, but I will suggest to you guys to get these little things, their furniture sliders. I got mine on Amazon, a pack of four, and you will see them. I didn't show them on camera, but you will see them when we're moving the furniture. They're just these little oval pads that you can slide under and they're felt and they make sliding furniture against wood floor super duper easy. So I will link those for you guys in the description box, as well as all of my office furniture, my desk, my filing cabinet, my chair, and the new bookshelf. I will link that for you, and I'm going to try and find my dining room furniture and link that for you as well. So 
So what we did with the rug here was we poked a hole in the middle of it to pull up the extension cord. That way I was able to have my desk in the middle of the room without the cord being seen anywhere and it worked out perfect. If you want to do this, you can do it with any rug, but I really suggest doing it in some type of a thicker shag rug because you can really not see the hole. So if I were to ever change my mind and want to use this rug somewhere else, you would never know where the hole was because it's so shaggy, it covers that hole. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, the extension cord goes underneath of the rug and then that way my desk can be in the middle of the room and you cannot see the cord at all. So this little rug has always been too small for underneath my dining table, but because of where it was, it just worked for then. And I knew eventually that I was going to get something bigger. I just didn't know what I wanted or what I was going to do. But while we were doing this project, I did finally decide what I wanted to do. And you will see the final result at the end, but I did some switching around of some rugs. So now there's a much larger rug underneath the dining room table and you will see that at the end. So make sure you stay tuned. If you're not already subscribed to my channel i would love to have you hit that red subscribe button and become a part of our little community that we have here it's such a great group of supportive women and men too and we have so much fun and we learn so much i learned so much from you guys and you guys learn from me and i just love the community that we have here so if you want to be a part of that it's totally free all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and that way youtube will notify you when i upload new videos and this week i do have more than usual videos going out so that is exciting and i do have a very big announcement coming at the end of the week so you're going to want to make sure that you are subscribed with your bells turned on because you're not going to want to miss this announcement. I told myself that maybe he I did get a Cricut sent to me. I feel so blessed and so excited about this. I do get to work with them and they sent me the Cricut Explore Air 2 in this beautiful mint color and it's just gorgeous sitting in my office, but I'm so excited to use it and to make back to school projects for the girls. I have so many different ideas in mind and I'm really excited about making a shirt because I've seen so many cute shirts that I've like 
thought, oh, it would be so cool if I could just make that at home. And now I'm going to be able to. So I'm so excited to be able to learn this machine. Everybody's telling me it's super easy and to make projects and labels and things for the house. So I'm really, really excited. And they sent me a bunch of vinyl and tools and things to go with it. So I just have to dedicate a good afternoon to sit down and figure it out. But I think it's going to be really easy. There was a nail already in the wall here so I tried hanging my clock on that nail but it was really too high so I went ahead and moved it down so that the clock would be at a better height and I love it. I love that I can sit at my desk and see the clock so it's not only pretty but it's actually functional. So this is the final product, my dining room, and that is the rug that was in the living room. I ended up getting a new one for the living room and putting that one in there. So it's the same rug, just bigger, but I think that it matches so beautifully. I love the dining room in here. I think it looks so pretty and everything fits so nicely. My mirror that I had in there, it matches the dining room furniture so perfectly. And I've started to put out a little bit of my fall decor. As you can see, I'm going to be decorating for fall this week. I'm so excited. But I love the dining room. I just think that it looks like it was meant to be and it just looks so perfect. And here is my office and I do like it um, it's gonna just take some getting used to I'm not done in here obviously there's some things I still want to hang on the walls like over by my printer and my filing cabinet but for the most part I have it the way that I want it I've got my bookshelf decorated pretty cute I feel like and I really love how I'm able to display my silver play button right here and it's so beautiful. Thank you guys again so much for all of your support on my channel. This is something I've dreamt of for the longest time. So having it in my office and just being able to look at it every day has been such an amazing feeling for me. But yeah, I love the way that it turned out. I feel like my office is so much more functional now. 
I also feel like I'm a little bit closer to the family when they're in the living room hanging out and I'm working. I'm right here so we can kind of talk. Whereas before I was kind of back in that corner by myself. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little different than what I've done on my channel before, but it was something I was going to be doing anyway, so I thought I'd bring you guys along for the process. I hope you like how it turned out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget, I have a huge announcement coming, so you're going to want to stay tuned.